So we're here at the, the back corner of the Ash Avenue restoration, one of the key parts. Now, one of the drivers for, for getting this going in the late 90s was the fact that this trailer park right here would oh, it was flood all the time. So right now, as we're recording this, if you look down, is we're at a, about a we're just at the at the slack part of the tide, um, but it's about a plus 2.3 foot. And if you look up the channel there, you'll see that there are there is water in the channel, obviously, but not a lot, right? So we're relatively high here. <clears throat> but even so, when we get you know we frequently get water above, uh, and if you look right here, you see this this. Uh, uh, lid thing this is a key deal now right now as I said it's about a plus 2.3 foot uh, tidal elevation the water is not quite or just barely to the bottom part of this floodgate this was a key part of the restoration this was the key requirement and one of the things that got buy-in for this mobile home community around here right as we've talked about there's a lot of historic dislike of wetlands they smell they're stinky they're not valuable all that kind of stuff so a key part in trends, and, and in this case, these folks lived here, they saw it as threat, right? They saw the wetland as the source of all this floodwaters that would constantly come into their homes. So it was a lot of negative views of the wetland. As a result of this, wet, of this restoration in, in 97, we went in and we uh, put in uh, this floodgate. Now, it used to just be a tube. It used to just be an open culvert. But now, if you look, it's got a lid. So if it rains inside the mobile home park or the land over here, the water is going to accumulate and then it's going to start to gravity feed down into the drains and come out here. And this water will push this floodgate open. Boom. So this is a one way floodgate. As the tide starts to come up and it gets higher than, again, it's 2.3 feet now. So it gets to, you know, 2.5, 3, 3.5, three and, and the water starts coming in. That water pressure will push against this and will stay closed. That water will not go into the drains, will not flood the house. This is a one-way valve. This is pulling water out of the terrestrial uh, uh, homes and, and developed area, but not allowing the salt water to go back into that area. So this was key, this was a key aspect. So that means for management, one of the key long-term things we wanna make sure is still working here is that these valves are working, they're oiled, they're, they're lubricated, they're, they're well working. So if I own this house here, and there's a big El Nino storm coming in, man, I'm gonna be sure out here and make sure this guy's able to easily open up when there's water behind it, etc. So hydrology is really, really key, not just for the well-functioning of our, our salt marsh critters and the dynamics and, and ecological functioning of our salt marsh system, but it's also really helpful for making sure that our terrestrial areas are protected. And if we don't understand that hydrology, we're not gonna be designing our restorations in the most effective way possible. In this case, this one-way floodgate has been a huge success. So in addition to just having all the great restoration we've done, now a lot of the folks here in the mobile home community see this as an asset, as a value, right? So they have this beautiful view, they see birds and stuff, they can come out here and do, go on this nature path and do all this walking. So by fixing the hydrology here and doing it intelligently, we both got the benefit of an ecological restoration and more uh, safe homes, more recreational enjoyment, better buy-in from the local community. So uh, key to engage our stakeholders and ask what they want and really, really listen to them. Don't ask just sort of anecdotally or because you think you have to. They are true partners in this. They are real partners in this and their interests and their concerns are absolutely valid and need not mean you can't do your restoration. You just might need to tweak the restoration a bit to hit all of these stakeholders that we'd like to be engaged in the process.